So I want to do a video on creation and um, the word of God. So tonight, today I was at work and I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, and I came to realize, understand that creation doesn't exist. Um, it's no such thing as creation. It's an illusion. It's a lie. And why do I say so? Because I was watching Attack on Titan, right? This is a Japanese show. I believe that came out in, in, came in Japan. And I started seeing in the, in the, in the show on YouTube how they, a lot of things that are going on in the world, they was able to replicate it. And, and how do they know a lot of these things in, in the animation unless they lived or went through the experience? You can't write about something or talk about something if you, if you haven't experienced it, right? And because you are eternal, you have experienced everything. You just don't remember. That's the only possible scenario, which makes sense. Because if you live forever, there's no such thing as death. Death is just a minute. It's just a perception of you leaving one state and going to the next. So is the soul leaving the body and going into another body or going to another experience? What's the difference between sleeping and dreaming? There's no difference. The physicality is a slow state of being. Spiritual is the essence of the soul, but they both are not real. So there's no difference. The only difference is you can do more in the spiritual realm than the physical. You have more of your capabilities and you're not limited on what you can do. Then I realized when I was watching, I was talking about how bombing certain locations, infiltration, and outsmarting people, one race against another race, and one race trying to obtain power by consuming other titans and taking their power, and they did rituals and stuff like that. And then I realized all these companies, animation companies, right, they tell stories, but these stories are dead on. And the only reason they did that are because the, the people who own the company, they know something that we don't. They know the secrets of the universe. They know the nature of existence. And this is why they can do things like this. And we think and take it for fiction. When there's no such thing as fiction. Fiction is reality. Okay? If I can put something in plain sight and convince you that it's not real, you will believe it. Right? So... And this is what they taught in school. Fiction is not real. Fiction is just make believe. It's imagination. But what are thoughts? Before you can have something become real, it's a thought. And if you want to make something up, you use imagination to, to bring it into existence, into reality, into the physical. Right? So then I realized that our DNA, right? There, once upon a time, there were titans. Once upon a time, there were human boy titans that once walked the earth. And I'm like, I was starting to see, understand that, oh wow, and I'm not 100% sure about dinosaurs, but I know they were different life forms. So, mermaids. Like, if you walk around and you pay attention to people, some people, if you look into their eyes, they have a slit. Their eyes keep flickering. Some people look like lizards. Some people look like aliens. Some people tongue roll out their mouth. And some people hand, they can see, you can see the uh, shape shifting. You can see it. That means we're not human. Okay? We have taken many forms, many shapes. Right? So that means... What has, what has happened? And then I saw in the, in the show that they were tampering with the DNA, right? 
So you can, once you can tamper with the DNA in an experiment, you can alter the shape of the form of the human, of the body, to be a certain form, certain shape, certain size. And that's what they've been doing with us. We just don't remember they've been experimenting on humans, on us to think a certain way, to be a certain way, to perceive things in a certain way, to, to have the form that we have. Right? Why is it that you can jump six feet? There's people, basketball players that can jump, um, I think, six feet high or a couple of feet high, but you can't fly. Right? Superman can fly. And I was asking myself, how can you jump very high, but you can't fly? And then they tell you, if you jump off of a building, gravity will pull you down. But well, what about you pushing yourself up, right? When you die, your soul leaves your body, you ascend, that means you go up. Why can't you go up if you know that reality is not real? If reality is not real, why can't you fly? And then it made sense. The reason that you can't fly, because they tampered with your DNA. Okay? Go back to what I said. If if there's no difference in the spiritual world and the physical world, what is stopping you? Is the axis of your DNA, what you have acquired inside, and what you know. So, let's go back to um, creation, right? Let's go back to creation. When I was walking outside, I said, what made the ground? I said to myself, what made the ground? What made the dirt? What made me? People may say, well, your parents made you. And then I said, well, if my, my parents made me, why don't I think like my parents? Why am I more wiser than them? And then I asked myself, okay, we can make that argument. But I believe once upon a time, there was such thing as... Um, Telepath, telekinesis. When you were able to, because when the, when you have a kid, a baby, right? How do you understand a baby? The baby doesn't know how to talk, so it doesn't use verbal language. It uses body language. So that means keep going deeper, keep going within. You understand that language, e a u u, talking sound, right? Before sound, there was nothingness. You just knew it was all knowing, okay? So that means you was dumbed down to a lower state of being human to forget who you are. Now, let's continue. What is, so if you say, what, what created a rock? What made a rock? I remember when I was in Peru, the shaman used a rock to, to extinguish parasites and demons out of my body. Wait, wait. So you're saying a rock is that powerful? So I ask myself, what created the rock? What created the ground? What created... And then they say, God created me, right? If it's God created me, who created God? Right? One may say, well, you can't create God because God's all-knowing, God's all-powerful. Really, so that means if you can't create God, then you can't create me. Because God is eternal, right? So that means if God is eternal, there's no such thing as creation. It can never exist. It was never, it can never exist. So everything was always is. Everything has always been. It's just different levels of experience. Now, let's talk about God. Why would God all knowing, all divine, all loving, create a world where people forget that reincarnation exists. And then Attack on Titan, they're talking about past life, um, memories, and recall. This is reincarnation. How do they know about that? But yet, they tell you, they teach you that reincarnation does exist. Most people don't even know that it exists. Do you see what's going on here? So they're playing with you. And they tell me it's fiction, but it's not fiction. In most cases, fiction is reality. Okay? So let's continue. 
Um, so why would God create a world that's full of negativity, full of um, things that you can keep suffering? Keep? Why would God create a world if you're from paradise? If you're from paradise, you come from a place that's heaven, right? Before we fell or descended, why would God create a world that's full of hate, anger? Why would God create a world where there's such thing as poverty? There's such things as negativity, division, racism, and all this kind of bullshit. Okay, why would God create a world like that? If God is the all, all loving, well, one may say, well, you know, you have free will, so we do whatever we want. Not true. If we all are one, and we all are part of the whole, and we all are part of a place that's full of beauty and love, why would we create a world full of darkness? It doesn't make sense. So the creation can never be. Now, let's talk about the word God. G-O-D. Spell it backwards. It's dog. Now, this is what they tell you. Don't call God's name in vain. Well, if God is such a secret word, why do they spell it backwards and dog? Because they mock God, Okay. Because they know that is a joke and they've been using it against us. This is why I never really liked the word God. I never really liked, like, I always, I know, like, and the word source never came from with me. I heard it. But for me, I would say, based on my experience, based on what I've learned, I believe in ayahuasca. I know that there's a place, there's a place I know that's called home, and it's not this planet, okay? It's not this world. I know a place, I know that peyote, iboga, apacha, these are the things that help me remember who I am, remember what I was before this life, right? And I remember being five, and I can see the future. I can remember the future. Do you... Who says something like that? I can remember the future. You know, that means you're not normal and you can describe it. You can describe it vividly. Like I remember a, a couple months ago, I was in a different world and my daughter, she was talking to me and she was holding my hand and she was saying, Father, I miss you. Like you've been gone for so long. Where are you coming back? Like, I've been waiting for you for a long time, and I said, I'm sorry. Like, I remember. Like, I remember my daughter. I remember my kids. I remember my wife. I remember Cecilia, my wife. So, these things, amnesia, and then the brainwashing. And I was, I was listening to music by Eminem, and the beat that he was using, and the disc that was scratching. Then I realized this, right? Drive, download information, DNA. DNA can be tampered with like a disk, like a drive, like you download stuff on it. And then I was able to perceive when I saw people walking, right? I was, there was walking and I saw people slowing down. Like there, people were speeding, but it, through my eyes, it was like there was in slow mo. And they were shape shifting. It was like they was becoming inanimate objects. It was like they was becoming cartoons. They wasn't real. The people that's walking are not real. They're not physical. And I'm like, oh wow. It was like it wasn't like a powerful state like ayahuasca, but I was able to see like my like, interesting, fuzzy. So that's how I was able to differentiate that creation does not exist. It never did. It's a lie. And they've been using that against us. You can't create that always have been. Okay? You can't. Then if you create, then someone had to create God. And that's not possible. That's not possible. There's no way something would have created something like that. There's no way 
it's just no way. It doesn't make any sense. Once you know who you are and discover who you are, you understand that there's no such thing as there's no there's no difference between me and that door. The only difference is that door is a solid physical thing, and its consciousness has been dumbed down to that state where it becomes physical object. That's that's the only difference. There's no difference between me and the rock. Or me in the ground, or me in the air. It's all consciousness. It's all aware. Even if it's aware on different levels, it's aware of what and who it is.